Today we present 10 thought-provoking situations where an ordinary day is suddenly disrupted by an incident that defies the laws of time. Picture a bustling town, the sun shining high in a cloudless sky, people going about their daily tasks, when suddenly an event unfolds that shatters the common understanding of reality. This isn't a scene from a science fiction novel, but a real-life incident that has left the scientific community bewildered. A man, known only as John Doe, who was previously going about his day like any other person, vanished into thin air. Bystanders watched in shock as he disappeared only to reappear moments later, appearing disoriented and dressed in clothes that seemed to belong in another era. He claimed he had traveled through time. Now, this might sound like an unbelievable tale and you'd be forgiven for being skeptical. After all, time travel is the stuff of science fiction, right? Well, not so fast. This incident, along with a multitude of others, suggests that there may be more to the concept of time travel than we currently understand. John Doe's case is not an isolated one. Over the years there have been numerous accounts of people and objects appearing and disappearing, seemingly at will, only to reappear in a different time and place. These occurrences challenge our understanding of reality and the laws of physics as we know them. But what if these incidents aren't anomalies, but hints at a more complex reality? What if time is not linear, but a vast, interconnected web of possibilities? Could these seemingly impossible incidents be signs pointing towards a new understanding of the universe? The mystery around John Doe's incident remains unsolved. His story, like many others, has been met with skepticism and disbelief. Yet, the evidence is hard to ignore. The question remains, are these incidents mere hoaxes or are they gateways into the unexplored realms of time? Intrigued? Let's delve into the top 10 unexplained time travel phenomena that have left scientists scratching their heads. At number 10, we have the curious case of the vanishing hotel. Now imagine this. It's the summer of 1979. Two couples, full of excitement, check into a vintage hotel, nestled in a quaint French town. The hotel is charming, brimming with old world elegance a stark contrast to the modern world they're used to. They enjoy the hotel's antiquated charm, the friendly staff, the delicious food, and the inexplicably cheap prices. It's a delightful, if somewhat peculiar, experience. After a night of restful sleep, they continue on their journey, leaving the hotel and its charming idiosyncrasies behind. Fast forward to the following year. The same couples, reminiscing about their previous summer's adventure, decide to revisit the hotel. They drive down the same roads, turn at the same landmarks, but when they reach the spot where the hotel should be, they find nothing. An empty space. The hotel, it seemed, had vanished into thin air. Bewildered, they ask the locals, but no one seems to remember the hotel. Not even the oldest residents who had lived there for decades could recall such a place. It's as if the hotel never existed. This inexplicable event leads to a whirlwind of questions. Did the hotel ever exist, or was it a mirage, a trick of the light? Or perhaps the couples had stumbled upon a time slip, a crack in the fabric of time that allowed them to step back into the past. This theory, as outlandish as it may sound, is the only one that seems to explain the couple's experience. They checked into a hotel from a bygone era, and then returned to their own time, leaving the hotel and its vintage charm behind in the past, where it belonged. But of course, like all good mysteries, this one too, leaves more questions than answers. And the biggest one of them all is, where did the hotel go, or rather when? Number 9 brings us to the infamous Philadelphia Experiment. This tale, like a scene straight out of a science fiction novel, revolves around an alleged military experiment that supposedly occurred during the thick of World War II. Rumors of the Philadelphia Experiment first emerged in the early 1950s, almost a decade after the alleged incident. The story goes that on a dull October day in 1943, the U.S. Navy conducted a secret experiment aimed at making one of their naval ships, the USS Eldridge, completely invisible to the naked eye. But that's not where the story ends, it's just the beginning. The goal was not only to cloak the ship, but also to make it undetectable to radar. The Navy hoped to achieve this by creating an electromagnetic field that would bend light and radio waves around the ship, essentially rendering it invisible. But things didn't go according to plan, or rather, they went too far beyond the plan. The experiment, instead of merely cloaking the ship, allegedly caused the USS Eldridge and its crew to teleport over 200 miles, from Philadelphia to Norfolk, Virginia, in a matter of seconds. 
When the ship reappeared, the crew was not the same. Stories circulated of men fused to the metal of the ship, others suffering from mental disturbances, and some who had simply vanished, never to be seen again. The experiment had not only manipulated space but also, it seemed, time. The US Navy of course denies any such experiment ever took place. They argue that the technology needed to create such an electromagnetic field did not exist in the 1940s and still doesn't exist today. But the story of the Philadelphia experiment refuses to die. There are those who believe the Navy's denial is merely a cover-up, that the experiment did happen but went horribly wrong. They point to the detailed accounts of the event, such as those claimed by Carlos Allende, a supposed witness who wrote a series of strange letters in the 50s outlining the experiment. Others argue that the Philadelphia experiment is nothing more than an elaborate hoax or urban legend. They point to the lack of hard evidence and the many inconsistencies in the accounts of the event. So what really happened that day in October 1943? Did the USS Eldridge and its crew become victims of a time travel experiment gone wrong? Or is the Philadelphia experiment merely a figment of our collective imagination, a tale spun from the threads of wartime rumors and science fiction fantasies? Regardless of where you stand, one thing is certain. The Philadelphia experiment, whether fact or fiction, has captured our collective imagination. It's a mystery that continues to intrigue and baffle, a puzzle that we may never truly solve. An experiment shrouded in mystery, leaving an imprint on time. Eighth on our list is the Moberly Jourdain incident. This peculiar event is a tale of two women, Charlotte Ann Moberly and Eleanor Jourdain, who claim to have experienced an eerie journey through time while visiting the Grand Palace of Versailles in France. In the summer of 1901, Moberly and Jourdain, both academics, were on a trip to Paris. They decided to spend a day at Versailles, visiting the Petit Trianon, a small chateau on the grounds, known to be a favorite spot of Queen Marie Antoinette. But their ordinary tourist outing took a strange turn when they lost their way in the gardens. They started to feel a heavy air of melancholy and unease. The people they encountered were oddly dressed, as if they were from a bygone era. They saw structures and landscapes that were not supposed to exist. The women even reported seeing a woman sketching who they believed to be Marie Antoinette herself. It was as if they had suddenly stepped into the late 18th century during the French Revolution. After this bewildering experience, Moberly and Jourdain returned to their everyday lives, but they couldn't shake the strange occurrence. They started researching, visiting libraries, and comparing their individual experiences. They discovered that their descriptions of the people, the clothing, and the landscapes matched historical records of the French Revolution era. In 1914, 13 years after the incident, they published a book under pseudonyms titled An Adventure. In it, they detailed their experiences and the research they conducted. The book sparked a wave of debate, with some readers fascinated by their account while others dismissed it as an overactive imagination or a hallucination. Theories about what happened to Moberly and Jourdain range from a simple misunderstanding to the supernatural. Some suggest they experienced a time slip a phenomenon where a person or people travel through time unknowingly and briefly. Others propose that they saw ghosts or residual hauntings, where past events are replayed like a recording. Despite the skepticism and controversy, the moberly Jordan incident remains one of the most famous cases of potential time travel. It's a story that continues to captivate, a tale of two women who went on a simple day trip and ended up on a journey through time. It challenges our understanding of reality and raises questions about the mysteries of time itself. But no matter what you believe, one thing's for sure, Moberly and Jordan's experience at Versailles was anything but ordinary. It's a reminder that sometimes, history may not be as far away as we think, and that time might be more fluid than we assume. A trip to Versailles that turned into a journey through time. Whether a time slip, a haunting, or a trick of the mind, the moberly Jordan incident remains a tantalizing slice of the unexplained, a testament to the enduring allure of time travel tales. Seventh place takes us to an airport with a passenger from a non-existent country. In the annals of unexplained phenomena, the tale of the man from Taured stands out. The story goes that in July of 1954, a man arrived at Tokyo's Haneda Airport. He was a typical business suit clad traveler, nothing out of the ordinary, except for one puzzling detail. His passport listed his home country as Taurid. Now, if you're scratching your head trying to place Taurid on a map, don't worry, you're not alone. 
Tord does not exist, at least not in our known world. But this man, our mysterious traveler, insisted it was a very real place, a proud country nestled between France and Spain. The airport staff were understandably perplexed. They showed him a map hoping to jog his memory, but he only grew more agitated. He pointed at the area of Andorra, insisting that's where Torred should be. Yet, on the map and in reality there was only Andorra, no trace of the supposed Torred. His passport seemed authentic, complete with visa stamps from previous travels. He even had driver's license and checkbook issued from the non-existent country. The officials, baffled and unsure of what to do, decided to detain him in a nearby hotel while they investigated further. But here's where the story takes an even stranger turn. The next morning, the man from Torred had vanished from his locked hotel room, leaving behind nothing but an enigma. His documents, which had been kept in the airport's security room, had also disappeared, as if Torred and its lone representative had never existed. The man from Torred is a story that continues to baffle and intrigue, a man from a place that isn't, a country lost in time or perhaps a time lost in a country, maybe we'll never know the truth. Was it a simple misunderstanding, a hoax or a genuine case of a man out of place in time? A man lost in time or a time lost in man? Number 6 introduces us to a man with dire warnings from the future. Our tale begins in the early days of the internet, when in November of 2000, a peculiar character calling himself John Tidor began posting on online forums. John wasn't your ordinary internet troll, he claimed to be a time traveler from the year 2036. His mission, he said, was to retrieve an IBM 5100 computer from the year 1975 to debug various legacy computer programs in his future. Now you might be thinking, why would anyone from the future need an ancient computer? According to Teeter, the IBM 5100 had a unique ability to emulate programs in older languages, a feature not publicly disclosed by IBM at the time, but later confirmed to be true. An oddly specific and accurate detail for someone merely spinning a yarn, wouldn't you say? Tidor shared a wealth of information about his world, a world scarred by nuclear war and governed by a system of decentralized communities. He warned of an impending World War III, predicted to commence in 2004, which would kill nearly 3 billion people. He also made several other predictions, some of which were eerily accurate, while others missed the mark. Tidor predicted that the Olympics would be discontinued after 2004. While this hasn't happened, the events of the pandemic in 2020 certainly put a temporary halt to the Games, and many wondered if they would ever return. Another of Tidor's predictions was the increasing instability of the West, leading to civil unrest and division. Considering recent global events, it's not hard to see why some believe Titor may have been onto something. But the question remains, who was John Titor? Was he a time traveler bearing warnings from the future, or was he simply an internet hoaxer with a knack for storytelling and an understanding of obscure computer systems? The identity of John Titor has never been conclusively proven, though many theories exist. Some believe he was a computer scientist playing a long-term prank. Others suggest he was a collective of users participating in an elaborate piece of performance art. There are even those who believe Titor was telling the truth, that he was indeed a time traveler from the future. Whatever the truth, the story of John Titor continues to captivate and puzzle. His predictions, whether they came true or not, offer a fascinating look into a possible future, one that is both intriguing and terrifying in equal measure. John Titor disappeared from the internet as mysteriously as he appeared, leaving behind a trail of cryptic posts and a legion of followers who continue to analyze and debate his predictions to this day. His story remains one of the most enduring and enigmatic tales of alleged time travel on the internet. A glimpse into the future or a clever hoax? We may never know, but one thing is for certain, the tale of John Titor has left an indelible mark on the annals of internet lore. Halfway through at number 5 we have the time-traveling hipster. This is a tale that has become a staple in discussions about time travel, all thanks to a single photograph from 1941. The image, taken at the reopening of the South Fork Bridge in Goldbridge, British Columbia, Canada, seems ordinary enough at first glance. It's a crowd scene with men, women, and children all dressed in the fashion of the time. But if you look closely, there's one man who sticks out like a sore thumb. This man, dubbed the time-traveling hipster, is seemingly dressed in modern attire. He's sporting a printed t-shirt, a pair of sunglasses, and even a portable camera around his neck. His clothing and accessories seem wildly out of place in a photograph that's well over 80 years old. The photo sparked a flurry of speculation and debate. Could this man be a time traveler from the future, 
who accidentally ended up in a 1941 photograph. The skeptics, of course, have their explanations. They argue that the so-called modern attire could have been available in 1941. The printed t-shirt, for example, could be a sweater with a sewn-on emblem. The sunglasses might be safety glasses, the type used by motorcyclists and dog sled drivers back then. And as for the camera, portable cameras were indeed available in the early part of the 20th century, but even with these explanations, the time-traveling hipster continues to intrigue. The man's overall look and demeanor seem so different from the people around him, it's as if he doesn't quite belong in that time and place. So what's the truth? Is this a case of a time traveler caught on camera, or is it simply a man who was ahead of his time in terms of fashion? Or perhaps, is it just an optical illusion, a trick of the light and shadows? As with many time travel stories, we may never know the full truth, but it sure is fun to speculate. A fashion-forward time traveler, or an optical illusion? Fourth, we meet a man who vanished in the 19th century, only to appear in the 20th. Now, let's delve into the curious case of Rudolf Fentz. The tale spins around a gentleman named Fentz who was reported missing in the year 1876. Fast forward to 1950, an unsuspecting evening in Times Square, New York, where a man dressed in 19th century fashion suddenly appears, looking bewildered and lost. This man, struck by a car and tragically killed, had on him a handful of 19th century items. A copper token for a beer worth five cents, a bill for the care of a horse and the washing of a carriage, about $70 in old banknotes, business cards with the name Rudolph Fence, and a letter sent to this same name in June 1876. When the police investigated this peculiar case, they found that a Rudolph Fence had indeed vanished in 1876, leaving no trace behind. The description provided by Fence's wife in the missing person reports from that time matched the man who died in Times Square. Adding to the mystery, the police found a man named Rudolph Fence Jr., who had died five years earlier, but had a father who disappeared in 1876. The story gets even weirder when you realize that the address Fence Jr. gave for his father was the same as on the business cards found on the man in Times Square. This bizarre tale has sparked debate among skeptics and believers alike. Was Rudolph Fence a time traveler who somehow slipped through a crack in time from the 19th century to the 20th? Or is this just an elaborate hoax, a tall tale spun to stoke the fires of mystery and imagination? While the truth remains elusive, the story of Rudolph Fence continues to captivate and puzzle us. A walk that spanned decades or a tall tale? Only time knows the truth. Third on our list is the controversial Montauk Project. This is a tale that takes us to the easternmost tip of Long Island, New York, to a place called Montauk. It's a story enveloped in layers of secrecy, intrigue, and conspiracy theories, revolving around time travel and psychological warfare. The Montauk Project, as it's commonly known, is believed to be a series of clandestine experiments conducted by the United States government. The story goes that these experiments were carried out in secret, beneath the radar of public knowledge and scrutiny, hidden deep within the bowels of an abandoned military base at Camp Hero. The project is said to have started in the early 70s, following the supposed success of the Philadelphia Experiment, another legendary tale of time travel and teleportation. The goal of the Montauk Project was said to be the exploration of the mind's potential, the manipulation of perception, and the development of time travel technology. Imagine, if you will, a world where the government can control your thoughts, where they can implant memories, or erase them entirely. A world where they can bend time and space to their will. It's a chilling thought, isn't it? Witnesses and supposed participants of the project have come forward over the years, sharing tales of bizarre experiments and mind-boggling technologies. These stories range from time tunnels to telepathic manipulation and even contact with extraterrestrial beings. One of the most notable figures associated with the Montauk project is Preston Nichols. Nichols claimed to have recovered repressed memories of working on the project, where he allegedly developed technology for mind control and time travel. The veracity of Nichols' claims remains contested, with skeptics dismissing them as fabrications, while believers see them as key evidence of the project's existence. Despite the lack of concrete evidence, the Montauk Project continues to captivate the imagination of conspiracy theorists and sci-fi enthusiasts alike. Books, movies, and television shows have all drawn inspiration from the alleged events at Montauk. Netflix's Stranger Things, for example, was originally titled Montauk, 
and was set to take place in the town, drawing heavily from the lore surrounding the project. But what is the truth behind the Montauk project? Is it a real case of government conspiracy and time travel, or is it a mere fabrication, a product of overactive imaginations and tall tales? The truth, as they say, may be stranger than fiction. The Montauk project remains shrouded in mystery, with more questions than answers. Its legacy continues to spark debate, fuel conspiracy theories, and inspire works of fiction. It's a story that blurs the line between science and fiction, between reality and fantasy. A project hidden in time, or a conspiracy theory? That's the question at the heart of the Montauk Project. It's a question that may never be fully answered, but it's one that continues to intrigue and fascinate us. After all, who doesn't love a good mystery? Second place brings us the Green Children of Woolpit. Let's journey back to the 12th century, to the tranquil village of Woolpit in England. An ordinary day turned extraordinary when two children mysteriously appeared, and these were no ordinary children, they had an alien-like green tint to their skin and spoke in an unknown language, baffling the villagers. The green children of Woolpit, as they'd come to be known, were a boy and a girl. They seemed lost, confused, and frightened. Their clothes were unlike anything the villagers had seen before, and their language was undecipherable. But the strangest part? The children refused to eat anything other than raw beans for months. As the tale goes, the boy, unfortunately, didn't survive long after their arrival. The girl, however, gradually lost her green hue as she adapted to a different diet. With time, she also learned to communicate in English. But her revelations only deepened the mystery surrounding these peculiar children. She spoke of a place with no sunlight, where everything and everyone was green. This place, she said, was located across a river, and they'd ended up in Woolpit after getting lost in a cavern while herding cattle. The villagers couldn't make sense of her words. Was she talking about a different world? Or was this a case of time travel gone awry? Historians and enthusiasts have been mulling over this story for centuries. Some suggest the children were suffering from chlorosis, a condition that can turn the skin green. Others propose that they were Flemish immigrants, which would explain their strange clothing and language. But these theories don't account for the girls' tales of a sunless green world. The Green Children of Woolpit remains one of the most intriguing tales of potential time travel. It's a story that's been passed down through generations, capturing the imagination of those who hear it. Children lost in time, or a phenomenon lost in translation? We may never know the truth, but one thing's for sure. The Green Children of Woolpit have secured their place in the annals of the unexplained. And finally, at number one, we have the mystery of Flight 914. Picture this. It's the year 1955. Dwight D. Eisenhower is President of the United States, Elvis Presley is shaking up the music scene, and the Cold War is in full swing. But among all the significant events that year, there's one that stands out. It's a story that still baffles us to this day, the enigma of Flight 914. Flight 914 was a commercial flight operated by Pan American World Airways. On the morning of July 2, 1955, this Douglas DC-4 took off from New York's Idlewild Airport bound for Miami with 57 passengers and a crew of six. But something unusual happened that day. Flight 914 didn't make it to Miami. In fact, it vanished without a trace, leaving behind nothing but a trail of questions. For 30 long years, the fate of Flight 914 remained a mystery. Families grieved, investigators searched, but no evidence was ever found. It was as if the plane and its occupants had simply vanished into thin air. Then on October 21st, 1985, something extraordinary happened. An aircraft suddenly appeared in the skies above Caracas, Venezuela. It was a Douglas DC-4, the same model as Flight 914. The plane was in pristine condition, showing no signs of aging or wear and tear. It was as though it had just taken off, not 30 years ago, but mere moments ago. The plane landed safely, and when the doors opened, the crew and passengers emerged oblivious to the fact that they had been missing for three decades. They were dressed in 1950s attire, carried 1950s currency, and had no knowledge of any event past their departure date in 1955. This story, as fascinating as it is, has been met with skepticism. Critics argue that there are no official records of Flight 914's existence, nor any documented cases of missing persons from that time period that match the passengers' descriptions. Some suggest that the story is nothing more than an urban legend, a piece of fiction that has been embellished over time. However, those who believe in the story of Flight 914 argue that the absence of records could be due to a cover-up. 
They suggest that the government, or perhaps even a higher power, erased all evidence of the flight to hide the truth about what really happened. And that truth, they believe, involves time travel. Is it possible that Flight 914 somehow slipped through a rift in time and space, traveling 30 years into the future in an instant? Could it be that this plane and its passengers were unwitting subjects of an extraordinary phenomenon that we are yet to fully understand? The mystery of Flight 914 is a thrilling tale that invites us to explore the realms of the unknown. It challenges our understanding of reality and time itself. Whether you choose to believe it or not, the story of Flight Nin 14 serves as a reminder that there are things in this universe that go beyond our comprehension, things that intrigue us and keep us guessing. So what happened to Flight 914? Did it vanish into thin air only to reappear 30 years later? Or is it just a well-spun tale that has managed to capture our imaginations? A flight that took a detour through time or an aviation myth? You decide. From vanishing hotels to mysterious travelers, these stories challenge our understanding of time. Each one is a puzzle piece, a fragment of what might be a bigger picture that we are yet to fully comprehend. Let's take a moment to journey back through the rabbit hole we've descended today. We started with a mysterious incident, a tale that set the stage for the inexplicable. Then we checked into the vanishing hotel, a place that exists one moment and evaporates the next. We then dared to delve into the murky waters of the Philadelphia Experiment, a military venture shrouded in conspiracy and controversy. This was followed by the Moberly Jourdain incident, a chilling trip back in time that left two women questioning their grip on reality. Next, we traveled with the man from Talred, a man with a passport from a country that doesn't exist, and listened to John Titor's predictions, a series of prophetic claims from a self-proclaimed time traveler. We then met the time-traveling hipster, a man out of time in a photograph from the past, and followed the strange journey of Rudolf Fentz, a man who appeared in Times Square, seemingly from the 19th century. We explored the Montauk Project, a supposed government experiment with time travel and mind control. We were introduced to the green children of Woolpit, two siblings with green skin and a story from another world. And finally, we unraveled the mystery of Flight 914, a plane that arrived 37 years after its scheduled landing. Each of these stories, these phenomena, leaves us with more questions than answers. They challenge our perceptions, our understanding, and our acceptance of time as a linear, unchangeable constant. So let these tales remind you that the world is full of mysteries waiting to be explored, of questions begging to be asked. Until we meet again, keep questioning, keep exploring, because time, as we know it, may not be as linear as we think. Thanks for watching Time Pilgrimage. Don't forget to subscribe, like, and comment for more time travel, space, and mysterious phenomenon.